I don't remember how it came to pass. Certainly it wasn't uh, anything that they asked me do you want to do. But uh, all of a sudden I was assigned to be taken over across the bay to Oakland to a naval hospital over there. And I had a survey that I was to run on and they gave me a list of patients. And uh, I guess they might have I don't think it was on my records anywhere, but I had done a little bit of survey work for some outfit when I was in college. Don't remember anything about it, but I do know that I wasn't a complete freshman to running a survey. Well, what they wanted to know, they wanted case histories of how did you receive your injury. Well, these are just kids, a lot of Marines. And it seemed to me that, in looking back, I felt that way at the time, though, it seems to me like about uh, nine out of every ten, and I don't think I saw but about 20, of these kids were killed, not killed, these were all living, obviously, received their wounds on their first action and received the wounds before they were even 50 feet out of the water. They'd be going in, get on get on their feet and wade that last uh, distance and a lot of them would be hit before they even got on the, the dry uh, sand. And they had horrible wounds. Just, just made you ill to realize that their lives were going to be so different just because of what happened. I guess when they say war is hell, it's hell. But the neatest thing about it was that uh, there wasn't a one of them that had a sad long face. They were some of them were kind of shocky, you know, not too sure what what, but most of them were upbeat and looking forward to either getting back on duty or getting back home to their families, their sweethearts, and so on.